Previously on Silent Hill. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Well, hello, and welcome back to Silent Hill 2. This is episode 2 on my first playthrough of the game. So last time we got introduced to a new character, which I'm not entirely sure if we learned the name. If we did, I didn't pay attention or I already forgot it. But anyway, we are here looking for our wife. And as it turns out, our dead wife. We got a letter from our dead wife. And we came looking for her in Silent Hill. And if that's not an engaging premise, I don't know what is. That's very interesting. <laughs> but yeah, we we got here. We explored a little bit of the town. We met two people already. We met a lady in the cemetery, which I believe we didn't learn the name also. And we, after exploring, exploring a little bit of the town, how do I zoom out? How do I zoom out? I don't know. After exploring, oh, here it is. A little bit of the town. Oh, that's to look a lake. We ended up in the Woodside Apartments. We found a key to the Woodside Apartments in an alleyway and we came in here. And here we came up to a puzzle, a clock puzzle, that we need a key to do so. But a, a, a random child kicked the key just as we were about to get it. And that was pretty weird, but that happened. And yeah, we explored the second and third floor a tiny bit but we still need we still need to get to the third floor so we can get the key and do the puzzle but but we don't have access to it which i'm thinking we're gonna need to go outside and actually try and explore the other apartments I think that's the only way let's see if not if that is not what we need to do we're probably gonna have to go outside again and have a look what the hell is happening here garbage no use for that okay so hmm we gotta yeah, we got a, a, a garbage, garbage bag stuck in the garbage disposal system. So, I'm guessing what we need to do is go up there and find a way to... To, to unstuck it, to unclog it. And we're probably gonna get an item where we need... That we need to, to, to move ahead. Let's see what happens. Okay, should be in here. How? Oh. The trash should. There's some kind of strange garbage stuck in the hole. Can we just use our our plank to to, to push it down? No. What the fuck? Is there a maybe? Just a normal washing machine. Yeah, it it should be pretty simple. Just just push it down, dude. God damn it! What can we do here? Hmm. Why? It's pretty straightforward in my in my head. Should be pretty simple. 
Maybe not. Okay, we got the clock puzzle, but we need the key to open the clock. I don't know. I don't think we've been very thorough when exploring the apartment 210, so let's go back there. There might be something in there. Oh, there's... again? I killed you already, didn't I? Another one, just to be safe. Oh, I can't, apparently. <laughs> what did I get? Bullets? That was bullets, right? Yeah. We got 30 handgun bullets, that's pretty useful. Oh. I feel like I'm missing something because... There was nothing in here when we explored it for the first time. And it uh, looks like there's still nothing in here. He's looking at something. More bullets? Yeah, how, how did I miss those? How did I miss those? There was two, two packs of bullets. Nothing to do here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I guess let's explore a little bit more. Arms and legs scattered all over the sofa. Sewing machine, locked door. Nothing that looks to be of use. Mannequin, but these clothes, yeah, the clothes are weird. Mm. The hell? What was that? Some kind of noise north of here. Okay, I guess we're going north. Clock puzzle. Hello. Oh no. I know you. I think. That's not good. Oh god, that's creepy. That pyramid head, isn't it? I think that's a... Why does it turn red when I turn around? Holy crap. I hear something. The fuck? The fuck? 
this wasn't here before I'm pretty sure uh, let's get the oh key to room 202 His dad could have done this. Okay, now. Now I'm scared to explore the the, the rest of the the floor because there's someone watching me. <laughs> and he's got a giant pyramid for a head and he's no longer there okay that's pretty good horror i can say that for sure because i'm scared as fuck now holy crap uh don't be here we're going to 202 Please don't be here. Hello? Cages. This is slowly starting to look like the the other world oh we got is that bats moths nothing inside the cage oh it's butterflies Okay, what's that noise? There are dead blur butterflies on the bed and ground. There's nothing else of interest here. What is that noise? There's a hole in the wall. Oh no, oh no. So, this, these butterflies, they kind of remind me of Alessa's bedroom in, in Silent Hill 1 she had a like a collection of bugs or something and there was also I've been reading after I finished Silent Hill 1 I I, I came back I, I replayed it a little bit I watched the other endings and I, I read a little bit about the story and apparently there was a connection with uh there was that that boss the there was a moth and there was a connection with the moth and alessa because she used to collect butterflies and moths and and, and insects in general and the moth and the larva there was a the other boss that i was calling the sandworm was actually a larva for the moth and now I understand it, and and probably that's why I'm making the connection now. So it, it kind of suggests that we are slowly getting into a nightmare here, which is pretty creepy. I was scared already, but now I'm I'm really scared. It's too dark to tell for sure, but I think there's something on this other side of the roll, the hole. Investigate, sure. I don't like this. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. No, 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 no.
Oh, it's a key. That could be a lot worse. That could be a lot worse. Don't go sticking your arms into random holes. Now I'm scared to walk the hallways now. Okay, I was kind of expecting Pyramid had to be there again. There's this thing about uh, horror games because after you, you explore the, the map for the first time or the area for the first time, you kind of feel safe, right? Because you you know what to expect, you know what's happening there, and you expect nothing to change, but when they they, they make you re-explore the place and they change things lightly it gives you it makes you very tense and at least for me it makes me very tense because the things that i thought i knew that i thought i was prepared for they are different now and there's i think that's always been like this for silent hill for the at least for the small amount of experience that I have with the game, with the series. Oh, that's so creepy. It's like in... I mean, Silent Hill is a lot more scary than Resident Evil, but it's like in Resident Evil 2 when in Route B, when you feel safe exploring the 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 police station and there's a there's a moment in route b where you are exploring the the underground i think or it's a it's like a it's it's a it's a specific part of the of the the police station and you're you're just like you're chilling you're very calm because you've been there hundreds of times and all of a sudden uh mr x just comes crushing the wall and you just get the the worst jump scare of your life and that make me on edge that's make me is making me on edge Okay. It said something. Okay, it was three o five. We heard, we read something that was three needles: the fat, the tall, and the thin. From slow to fast, they move to the right. Uh, Scott, not on three, but fifteen. Okay, so Scott is not. Scott is not on, on uh, three hours. Scott should be on fifteen seconds or fifteen minutes. Oh, there. Okay, Scott is already there. I think. So we got Henry. Henry was on nine, I think. And Mildred should be on two. Here. You can actually do this puzzle without knowing anything because because of the noise. It's a pretty tight spot. 
Where are we now? Oh, 209. Oh fuck, we are getting close to Pyramid Head. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was hoping for a safe spot. I, I can tell that I'm getting scared because I'm, I'm I'm looking at the recording time and thinking about ending the episode as soon as possible <laughs> because I'm so fucking scared. Oh god. Oh god, I don't want to leave the apartment. But we got it. We got it. Oh, the camera. Oh, the camera is fucking me up. Okay, he was here. That's great. Let's go down first. Because I know we need to go up. <laughs> so I'm trying to postpone the inevitable. Oh, it's locked. I thought we would be able to unlock it. But nope. Nope. We need to go up. I need to know if we can make a quick turn or not. Oh, more handgun bullets. Just take a deep breath. Take a sip of coffee. There's blood here. God damn it. Oh. oh what kind of what kind of orange is happening here? nothing don't come here you, you saw nothing in fact how, how the fuck do you see with that thing on your head okay that works more or less. Uh, okay, he's gonna be pissed now. He's gonna be pissed with us. Probably not the best decision. A uh, guy that I don't know the name of. There's a painting hanging on the wall. It looks like a landscape of this area. Does it? I, I see schools. Oh, it's schools on the mountain, apparently. That's pretty bold of him to just unload a handgun on the 
creepy guy with the pyramid for a head. Okay, he was killing the mannequins. What's up with that? Did we get in here just to, to watch him kill two mannequins? Oh, we got a key. Courtyard key. Where do we use it? Where should we use it? Oh, we need to go there and get the key. Fuck. It's gonna be... I'm gonna be really pissed with us, dude. Courtyard key, I guess it opens the 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 door all the way to the west there. Or maybe the one on the first floor. Oh yeah, because the, the other one would lead to a rooftop. Okay, but we, we still need to explore this, this floor. Oh, hello. Where are you? Where are you? Hey, show yourself. Oh, there, there you are. There you are. No. Double tap. I wonder if the, the enemies respawn or if the enemy positions and locations are, are random in this game. Because sometimes we... I think we, we explored a room and when we came back there was another enemy there. I don't know if the, the room just changed or if the, they respawn randomly. What are you looking at? What do we have here? What are you looking at? Oh, bullets. Thank you. We got plenty of bullets now. But we need to be careful because I also said that uh, on the first game, I was pretty confident that we had a whole lot of bullets and uh, we, we had bullets to spare. And it came to the end of the game and I was short on bullets and I had to and I had to run past a lot of enemies, so we really need to be careful with that. Oh, hi. oh fuck, I wasn't expecting that. Where's the key? Fire escape key. It's coming back. Oh, you fucker. Stop that. I should have killed it when I had the chance. Will he get up again? I'm not so sure. <laughs> okay, we got the key. We got the fire escape key at least. Uh, let's see. Um, key to door leading to the hallway to fire escape. I found it on the third floor hall. Uh, and the courtyard key, key to door, which leads from the west side stairway all to the courtyard. Mm. 
okay. We got two more rooms. Yeah. Oh fuck. Again. I think the crawler is coming back. Okay. we going is that the i hope that leads us back to the to the safe room okay so this this is probably the other room door that we saw oh but we got more apartments here oh thank god How's my health? Uh, we need something. Nice. I hope we got enough health, uh, health kits and, and medicine for the rest of the game because I've been bearing the bullets. I've got how many? Okay, I got seventy handgun bullets. I've been trying to save them, but oh, there's something there. Hello? Can juice. Can juice. A heavy six pack of expired can juice. It was in the hallway on the first floor. A heavy six pack of expired can juice. Can we drink it? It's expired, so we probably shouldn't drink it. Uh, but as I was saying, I was uh, I'm trying to to spare as much bullets as I can. But in consequence of that, I've been I've been having having to use some health drinks and health kits, but. It looks to be okay for now. I just hope we don't run short of those on those after that. Garbage. Yeah, we need to we need to see what we can do about that. The garbage should. Let's save since we're here. We're gonna we're gonna have a lot of saves. Every time I, I, every time I pass by, oh hello. Every time I pass by a uh, safe spot, you gotta be sure I'm gonna save. Helping light, he he's, he won't stomp on the grass. Okay, this place is pretty damn big. Let's go for the apartments first. Oh, hi. Okay, bad decision. What does it say there? Hell? <laughs> oh, hello there. Someone is having a Are you okay? Are you okay, dude? Do you need medicine? What the? Who could have done that? Some someone is having a stomach ache, or maybe some diarrhea. Hello. Okay.
Sí. That's awkward. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Do what? I didn't do anything. I, I swear. The guy on the fridge? I this when I got here. <coughs> my, uh, my name's James. James. Oh, James, that's your name. Um, Eddie. Eddie. Uh, Who's that dead guy in the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill anybody. You're not friends with that red pyramid thing. <laughs> red pyramid thing? I don't know what you're talking about. Honest. But I did see some weird looking monsters. They scared the hell out of me, so I ran in here. <laughs> well, I guess this place isn't too safe either. Yep. What happened here anyway? Uh, I I told you, I don't know. I'm not even from this town. I just, I just... <sighs> you too, huh? Something just brought you here, right? Uh, yeah, you could say that. Well, whatever it is. I think you better get out of here soon. Yeah, you're right. What about you? I'll leave as soon as I'm done here. Eddie, be careful. James, I... I, um... You be careful, too. Thank you, Eddie. Okay. That was awkward. So James, our name is James Sunderland. Or Sutherland? Uh, not quite sure which one. It's is it Sunder or Sutter? Sutherland. Not sure. Okay, we met another person. Okay. Uh, I remember that in Silent Hill 1, it took a while until we found other people. We we found Sibo right at the start of the game, and then we spent like some hours, maybe about four hours, uh, exploring the town and 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 doing things until we met other person, another person, which I think it was it was either. The doctor, oh, oh, I think it was the Dahlia Gillespie, Gillespie, and then we met the doctor, but it took a while, it took a while. It looks like it's interesting to see how there's more people involved in this, and, and, um, it kind of looks like Eddie was also, I don't know, he was kind of... I don't want to say lured, but he he came here for a reason, just like us. Kind of, it kind of seems like Silent Hill attracts people, almost like a trap. But I, I'm not really sure how much of that is related to the church. Which is, which is another thing that is interesting, though. another thing that I, I don't think I actually mentioned, but I, I really wasn't expecting the, the plot behind Silent Hill 1 to be so involved with a church and with demons and, and, and gods and stuff like that. I really wasn't expecting that. I don't know how much of that... Oh. It looks like a crawling space. It looks like a place where monsters could come out of.
Oh yeah, but the, the the church plot kind of came out of nowhere and I, I really wasn't expecting it. I'm not sure if you if we can actually do a, a back step in this in this game. We could in, in Silent Hill 1. Okay, I learned how to do a quick turn. That's good. <laughs> good to know. But I, 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 I'm not sure if we can do the, the back step. Okay, that's pretty useful. Also, I, I need to pay more attention to that and 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 kind of use it a little bit more. I probably could avoid a lot of, a lot of damage like that. But I was never good at using um, evasive maneuvers in these early early games. I I remember that Resident Evil Three, there's like a there's a quick step that we can use to dodge enemies, and I never managed to do it in, in the in the PS One version. The PS the 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 remake version it's a little more intuitive and a little more useful, but. I never managed to do it on the original version. Okay, um... Wait, did we use all the keys that we had? Oh no, we got the Firescape key. That probably... Where's the Firescape key? There? In the second floor, maybe? Let's go to the second floor. Mm. I keep using the health rings. I'm not sure if I'm wasting them. But I, I feel like it's a good idea to always top off our health. And since we're here, let's 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 save. Let's save. Just to be safe. Where's the... Oh, all right. <laughs> Forgot about this. Let's go the long way around because I feel like it's probably safer. I mean, we got more of the courtyard to explore. I don't know how much there is to that, but let's see. It's a pool. There must be something in the pool. Oh, there's a lot of monsters here, apparently. Hello? One. I hear two at least, I feel like. Oh, there's three, I think. Holy crap. Oh no, oh don't do that. Please don't do that. There must be something in Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Uh, a coin. I got a coin. Okay, that was <laughs> That was completely by accident, and I'm I'm surprised that I actually made it through without any damage. Bye, guys. Have fun. Have fun at the pool day. <laughs> okay. 
Sí. What else? Oh, we got the fire escape. You right? I think it should be that one to the left. About there, I think. Let's let's take a look at the. Let's take a look at the garbage chute again. I'm just waiting for the moment where Pyramid Head is gonna ambush me. There's a trash chute. We got a coin, a large coin printed with a snake. I found it in that pool with no water. Can we... What does it say? Uh... Tiriha? Oh, it's... Yeah, I can't read that. Can we use it on the shoot? Can juice a heavy six pack of expired can juice. He was in the hallway on the first floor. I mean, it's it's a heavy six pack. Maybe that should be enough to unclog it. Ooh, okay, okay. Looks like the garbage stuck in the trash chute has fallen through. I mean, you could have, you probably could have. Uh, uh, getting unstuck with your plank, but I guess this is a, a puzzle game and we need to get an item to unclog it. The garbage bag is torn and the contents are strewn all over. You got a coin of an old man. What's this? Some gossip magazine, eh? The police, the police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who, who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal murder of Billy Locaine and his sister Miriam, committed suicide in his jail cell early on the morning of the 22nd. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a soup spoon to stab himself in the neck severing his carotid artery. By the time the, guard, the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss. The spoon bird two in, buried two inches in his neck. An old schoolmate of Walter Sullivan's from his hometown of Pleasant River said, he didn't look like the type of guy who would kill kids. But I do remember that just before they arrested him, he was blurting out, out out all sorts of strange stuff like he's trying to kill me he's trying to punish me the monster the red devil forgive me i did it but it wasn't me the schoolmate then added i guess now that i think of it he was kind of crazy mm. are are we kind of crazy because that sounds a lot like pyramid head i think the red, the red demon. The, he says something about a red, red something. Okay, I think it's that door. Let's see before a monster gets us <laughs> that could happen at any part any time fire escape key oh whoa what the fuck do we need to jump the gap please mind the gap there's no fire escape outside the door 
maybe they knocked it down when they built the building next door yeah i think i can get into the building next door if i go through the window in front of me good luck don't fall don't look down Okay, another building. Looking great. Yeah, <laughs> great. I don't have a map. I was thinking that this 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 apartment stuff would be like a like a, a side quest or something because it's the key was so well hidden and then I thought I thought we would just come down here and get an extra item or something like that but it looks like it's a lot more to it health drink thank you what's this trash can there's a safe there actually we got a coin coin old man it looks like an old man. <laughs> Large coin printed with the face of an old person to get out of the trash chute exit. Kinda looks like Jeffrey Bezos. <laughs> Jeffrey Bezos. Yeah, I don't know this. I don't know the, the password. Can I have a map, please? safe <laughs> wait what's that blue it's painted blue for some reason exit okay good to know laundry room Fucking camera. Okay, we got an exit. Hello, there's a mannequin there. Dear team, dear team, I have to run an errand, so I'm going out. I left the house key with Uncle David. You know where he lives, don't you? The key is in the room near the first floor staircase. Um, I'll be back as soon as I can, so please watch the place while I'm gone. After we hit the first time, I think we're we're clear. We just need to keep spamming. Another one. Another one. Okay. What the fuck? Is there someone here? Oh, that was... That was scary. <laughs> now I remember why... I postponed playing this game so much. Okay, the key should be near the... First floor staircase. Why is this building so dark?
What the hell? Oh, it's one of those. No. The fucking, the fucking bugs. I don't know how to kill them. Is there a way to kill them? Oh, hi. There's something reading on the desk. Three bright coins in five holes B. At one end sits the seducer of she. The wind from behind the woman doth play. The formless one, no, lies furthest from day. The old one beside the serpent sits not. This to the prisoner's left that, that, that he doth rot. Okay, so there's a line of five one inches round depression set into the table. Let's read it again. Okay, at one end should be the seducer. The wind from behind the woman doth play. The formless one, no lies furthest, furthest from day. Okay, the formless one might be an empty space. The old one beside the serpent sits not. This to the prisoner's left that he doth rot. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, so the serpent is not next to the to the old man. I don't know, let's put this serpent here. And the the seducer should be Oh okay, I get it. The seducer I think that's that's referring to the to the serpent because of the Garden of Eden and all of that. So the seducer should be at what end? Uh, and at one end sits the seducer of the the wind from behind a woman of play. The formless one, no lies furthest from day. The old one beside the serpent sits not, and the prisoner is left that he doth rot. This to the prisoner is left that he doth rot. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna say, for now, at least, let's put the serpent at one end. And it kind of looks like the, the old man sits to the left of the prisoner but it's not at the side uh, beside the serpent so the 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 old one won't be here and it won't be here so uh, let's put the other one at the middle maybe One thing that I'm that I'm curious about is how how the puzzles change depending on the dif difficulty because there's a difficulty for the for the the combat and a difficulty for the, the puzzles. So um, I'm guessing that the Probably we, we we would have a, a more ambiguous or a more obscure description or maybe some some words w would be missing or maybe we'd, we would have a, a shorter more difficult description to to work with that's interesting but okay I think this is a nice place to stop we did a lot this in this episode i think but yeah i'm i'm getting getting scared i'm getting creeped out by this game and it's pretty pretty damn tense which i enjoyed a lot even though i, I fucking suck at horror games but yeah anyway thank you so very much for watching consider liking the video and consider subscribing to my channel the next episode should be out shortly and I'll see you there.